sure if you noticed this in last week's video, but uh, Sparrow, come here. Cheese. Sparrow got her fake teeth removed because her big girl teeth are growing in. That's kind of what started this whole vlog. We made a video about Sparrow's teeth. It wasn't even intended to be a vlog video. It wasn't intended to be a vlog. Her teeth had broken because of an enamel deficiency that caused decay. So she had like these little cracked teeth. They put her out for like a surgery and put some new caps on them shortly after she hit them on a bed. That tooth broke in New York, so she was missing a tooth. That tooth fell out, it didn't break. So she was toothless for a while. The other one ended up breaking somehow. Then when he went in to check it out, he filed it down and then they had to put in like a flipper retainer and then that fell out sure enough her teeth were growing in she's not even yet six and has lost five teeth and is growing four of them that's the short version of it it's still two minutes long sorry do you want me to retry it yeah looks good looks really good so if you've been following us from the beginning you know exactly what we're talking about if you don't you got a lot to catch up on it's been a long process though and it's such a relief hopefully to finally have that come to an end. Her enamel is healthy, her teeth are growing in, and it's just gonna be all fine and dandy from now on. You're saying that you've done this before where you take the Jenga block out of the middle like this? and it stays standing. There's no way, you're pulling your I've hand done up. It, I've done it with giant Jenga before. Shiloh's telling me he's successfully removed the center block from Jenga before without knocking down the whole pile. I tell you what, if you can remove this before I can, you can break my skateboard. If I win, then you don't get to break my board. This is the block that needs to be removed, okay? So Shiloh. First attempt, we might be here a while. There's the first attempt. I mean, it's all right. It rack them up. Basically, still stayed up. No, it did not. The whole the, top fell off. Yeah, that's, but the bottom was still on. Do you know how Jenga works? <laughs> all right, my turn. Ah, <laughs> it was close. One, I had one fall out. So far, I'm closest. <laughs> See some practice moves. You ready? Yep. All right, here it goes. Had one whole attempt so far. Shiloh's had two. I've learned a lot. I think I know what needs to happen here. I've been honing in my calculations. I think that I can successfully do this. That's, holy cow, this thing is tight. All right. This block's coming out. I'll give you one more chance, okay? I got it, but I'm gonna give Shiloh one more chance. All right, you're going from the bottom. <sighs> yeah, you got it, but you gotta pull it straight. You're pulling it up, you gotta pull straight back. Yeah, exactly. You got this, dude. I believe in you. Oh, <laughs> so one close. Came out. Practice. You can do this, you are the best. Oh dang. All right. He's thinking smarter here. Are you serious? Yeah. You're gonna pull it towards you? Oh! Yeah! Oh, Michael! New technique? Yeah. No way. There's no way. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> That should not have worked. I, I don't know how this works. No way. <laughs> All right, I got another one. No. So challenge number one is to knock out this single block. Challenge number two is to knock out both of these blocks. Like this. I'm only gonna try it once. Here we go. Let's straighten this up a little bit. Okay. 
Here you go. That's one. So I'm gonna hit these right here. No way! Now all I want to happen is to be like in a natural Jenga game and pull this trick out. That's the challenge. <laughs> One important thing you should, is this too close? One very important thing to note if you're gonna have a, a ramp in your yard is uh, the constant upkeep. You're gonna constantly be needing to make repairs, modifications, there's always work that needs to be done on it, so. There's an old phrase, that I, I'm paraphrasing here, it goes something like, why buy a boat when you can have a friend who has a boat? Because if your friend's got a boat, they're the ones who pay for the fuel, they pay for the repairs, they, the docking fees, everything else like that. I'm the friend with the boat. I, I, I actually like it. It has the potential to bring, uh, to, for us to make new friends, and in this case today, it has brought new friends over. So today we're doing a little bit of a ghetto repair. Not cutting any wood, just using what I have. Your board's all the way under the trampoline. I thought I had it too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, what's up, lady? I said I'm hungry. Are you gonna be in my chair this whole time? I just want food. Okay, you make food, I'll do the vlog. But I want, I don't wanna make food yet. Okay, then get out. I checked the P.O. box today. Well, Sweepy checked the P.O. box today, but she doesn't have to know that I said that I checked it. So I checked the P.O. box today. We got mail. Let's, uh, yeah, well, I'm gonna open it. Okay, um, so for those of you that don't know, uh, I opened a P.O. box a little while ago. If you have something that you wanna send to us to open on camera, you can do so. That's not the purpose of this vlog. The reason why we opened it is because a handful of you reached out and said that you wanted to send us stuff. And it got to a point where it seemed kind of closed off for me to keep saying no. Anyways, first item. This one actually came pre-opened, so great job to the UPS store for, uh, you know, making it easy to access these items. Uh, Shiloh actually loves these. You hit the nail on the head with this one. Thank you. Item number two, let's see. How do we want to open this? These people reached out to us. They asked if we could use a budget planner. We were really excited about that. Set goals, create a budget, take control, track your spending, track savings, stay organized, and feel happier. It's a monthly budget planner. So Clever Fox, thank you guys. This is, uh, this is going straight into Sweepy's hands. I'm actually really excited about this. Bug. New skills I need to learn to achieve my financial goals. This is deep stuff. And then here's our final package of the day. Caroline. Okay, now this particular item, I know what's in here as well. We're just blown away by people's generosity. The community that we found in YouTube, it's unmatchable anywhere else. So thank you guys for reaching out. Uh, I'll give you the short of this. Caroline reached out and she's condensing some of her items that she had growing up as a child. It's a really positive memory in her childhood that she had. So she asked if she could share these with the girls. So I'm gonna open them and then we'll call them down here and they can take a look at it. With that said, you can expect this to be a very girly item in this box. So uh, here we go. We got a note. I think I'm gonna let the girls open this because no one wants to see a grown man unbox dolls, right? But I'm gonna read this note. Hey THF, I hope this package has found you safely. She abbreviated the happy family. THF, done a little research, is actually a rap group. Anyways, I hope this package has found you safely. I found your channel over a month ago and have been hooked ever since. 
I came from a divorced family and seeing your family enjoy each other's company has been a breath of fresh air. Thank you for sharing it with the world. Shiloh, I'm so sorry I don't have anything for you but I am on the lookout. Caroline, you're so sweet, thank you so much. I too came from a divorce family, so we share that common ground. I will let Rio open this, and then I'll have the girls come down and open their box right now. And I'll get Shiloh to come open his Zelda thing as well. Whoa. Do you know what those are? Yes. Cool, right? Yeah. Do you have any that are done, like set up? Yeah, I have one that's like the Breath of the Wild. This is a link that I made. <laughs> you made that? Yeah. Girls! I you. Oh, that was quick. Someone sent you a letter. Rio and Sparrow. I'm 23 years old and these dolls are from when I was a little girl. They have been living in a box and after seeing how much you love yours, I thought maybe I, um, you could love mine too. I know that one is Kit, but I'm not sure about the other. Maybe you can give her a new home. Also, I included some outfits that are most likely no longer in stores. I hope you enjoy them as much as I did. Oh my gosh! This is real! I've always wanted her since she came out. I have her book! Oh my goodness! This American Goto! Oh my goodness! I got her! Oh my goodness! Well, the outfit and the shoes. This is what pure, unadulterated joy looks like. What do you say to Caroline? Thank you!